For us, it works. I mean, I love missing you. Mm -hmm. I do. Like, if you're, I, I'm sorry, if we were in each other's face all the time, which one day, hopefully, when we yeah. get there, I don't mind that. But I love missing you. It's, it's, it's great to build up that momentum to see each other again. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Joey Diamond. I'm a singer and songwriter from the Bay Area. Hi, my name is Pablo Hernandez. I'm an actor, model, musician, and I live in Havana, Cuba. I'm 27 and I'm Filipino and Portuguese. Uh, my background is uh, Spanish, Cuban, American, Lebanese. I was actually working two jobs. I was working at 24 Hour Fitness and at Power Zone, mm -hmm. and Pablo was a regular at both. I would always walk in with the guy that I was dating at the time, and Joey would always ignore my then boyfriend, completely ignore him. I would walk in, and Joey would just be like, Hey Pablo, how are you? <laughs> Meanwhile, my ex-boyfriend was like standing right there. And I never noticed that until my ex-boyfriend said, how come Joey never says hi to me? It wasn't because I was after you, but you were always so polite and so genuine and so kind. The first thing that attracted me to Joey was just his overall energetic and happy and uplifting demeanor. The first thing that um, attracted me to Pablo initially was his smile. Like, your smile is so in infectious and it's so bright. When I first like looked into your eyes and had like a, a conversation with with you, I don't know, I just, I seen a light. I seen a light in you. I, I always told Joey, I was like, I know if I am going to love someone, from the moment that I meet them. If right off the bat, I don't feel this strong metaphysical connection with you, it's it's not gonna happen. I think the cool thing about our relationship is we, we are long distance, and so we were able to connect on such a great emotional level first before we even got physical. I mean, we'd even send each other nudes or anything like that. I knew from the moment like me and Pablo first started hanging out that I was going to fall in love with him. When you give your your heart to someone and you tell them you love them, it makes you it makes you vulnerable. Because we're long distance, we obviously have to meet somewhere. So I live in Havana, he lives in uh, San Francisco. So we can either meet there, or we can meet in Miami where my family is, or or, or meet somewhere. So we don't always meet where one another lives. Yeah but sometimes we'll, we'll meet like kind of halfway or wherever and we make a little vacation out of it. Make a thing. Like we, we always make time for each other and it's hard, it's hard going a month without seeing this, this guy. But we're making new memories together and I think that's why we have such a strong, strong bond. What's our gender rules, babe? We're both bottoms that we just rub our asses together. <laughs> we what, do. No, that's what everyone thinks. They think we just go into our bed and we just like rub our asses We're just like on each other. Ramming our asses into each other. I put on know? a 12-inch dildo and I go at it. If someone calls you a bottom, that's offensive for some reason. People started saying, oh, but how does this work? How is it gonna work? Like they're both, but they're both bottoms. That's not gonna work. That's, that's not the case. I mean, we have fun with each other. We, we explore each other. We switch it up. Just yeah. let the world know. We switch it up. We, we explore ourselves. We, I yeah. mean, like, we play with, not saying we play with hella yeah. toys and stuff like that. But, but I mean, I'm kind of open to that too. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but on the flip side. <laughs> but no, I mean, like, I think it's normal for someone to assume like a, a bottom or a top role. And I love bottoming. He loves bottoming. I love topping kind of sort of not really he <laughs> he's loving it now he's <laughs> <laughs> I could sense that it was because he'd been hurt in the past so I knew that I loved him and I don't care whether someone loves me back or not if I feel that I love you I'm going to tell you I think my biggest fear in with getting in a, a relationship is falling in love with someone who doesn't love you back mm -hmm. or just is not on the same 
you know, romantic level as you. To me, love is, is something intuitive. I know I love you because I can't imagine my life without you. By being in Cuba, I don't have connection to the outside world 24-7. Mm. So it can be hard uh, to be long distance and to not know whether I'm thinking about you or you're thinking about me because we're not talking on the phone all day. Mm -hmm. But whether I'm saying it or not, I hope you know that I feel it and I do love you and I think about you every waking moment from the moment that I wake up to the moment that I fall asleep and all throughout the day. So you're always on my mind. You, you make me want to be a better man. And I think because you're in my life, I have become one. So I thank you for that. No, much.